This is the Manchester Evening News back home. Ronaldo in sensational return to United. And it's not just the front page. He's on the back as well. Welcome back, son. It says inside Fergie's key role. Well, we believe it wasn't just Sir Alex who played a role in this happening. Rio Ferdinand joins us as well. So, Rio, have you been, what's been going on? Was it phone calls? Was it WhatsApp? Was it text messages? What was said? Uh, all of the above. I think... Um, Everything possible. Talking to him. Yeah, I mean, talking to him, texting, obviously, is a big part of it. And obviously, our, our friendship and relationship goes back many years when we played together. But we've obviously always stayed in contact since then. And um, the situation came about uh, late on, I think it was Thursday night. And we're up to the early hours of the morning. So really, really interesting. But it got done in the end. Wait, just quickly, J J Jolian's with you guys, isn't he? <laughs> Have yeah, you, have here, you guys got his tweet that he put up? Because he, uh, he jumped the gun a little bit too early for my liking. I didn't mention any teams. I just mentioned if he was free in the afternoon. There you go. Um, when do you want to jump on five and talk see us? Who <laughs> 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 did go a bit early? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's one that of them did things. not age well. No, it didn't. Well, yeah. listen, we can still have the conversation, though, can't we? Yeah, Let's of have course. the conversation still. Yeah, the fact that he was a possibility obviously meant Rio and Man United had to uh, pull the plug and and get it over the line because it would have been devastating for them. I think he adds a lot more to, to, to Man City's team than he does in the greatest respect to, to United to, in terms of winning the title, but they had to re-sign him. What do you think, Ray? Yeah. No, no, I, I agree with, with Joel and he's right. Um, he's been wrong the last couple of days with a couple of tweets, but he's right about that. I think <laughs> the moment that myself and a few other people at the club found out that he was going to be going to Man City or the, the, the opportunity was there because Man City were interested, you could never see Man United, never see him wearing a, a, a sky blue kit and walking out in Manchester, not at Old Trafford in a red shirt. It just couldn't happen. So, and like I have to reiterate, like I said on my YouTube channel on five yesterday, the Manchester United hierarchy in this situation acted step by step on the big beat, on the money every time until that deal was uh, agreed and signed from Cristiano. As our impartial observer, do you now look at this and think this is... This is what we want to see in Manchester. Two clubs really going at it, fighting over top players, the gap's closed. Let's have them in a title battle. Well, from a neutral in these situations, it's so exciting. You know, it'd be interesting to think, to know what Rio thinks of what type of player the, the Ronaldo that's coming back, what role we'll play. But it'll also be interesting to see when Rio's going to put his invoice into Manchester United for his cut of the, the deal. Like, that's already <laughs> happened, probably. Oh, it's, it's gone in already. <laughs> <laughs> it's never slowed to charge, what, Joe, Rio. Joe, go on. That, that question, Joe, um, is a, it's a really interesting point. Like, he, he, he left here as the best player in the world. He, he turned up in Manchester as, a, as someone who was about entertaining um, and skills, etc. But he's very much a man about stats now. And I think you see his levels last season. Listen, Chelsea bought in a striker for 96 million. Um, yes, different ages, different profile, etc. But Cristiano Ronaldo outscored him in the, in the Serie A last season. That tells you the yep. levels that he's at. He'll come in and he'll score goals. And more importantly, I think around the training ground and at this football club, there aren't met anyone else better equipped to show them how to win consistently at Manchester United. He's the yeah. guy for that. Yeah. Yeah, we, sorry, we talked last week, didn't we, about Liverpool, about the lack of a marquee signing. And irrespective of what they bring on the pitch, what they bring off the pitch as to lift. And Man United have a great tradition of doing that. When they go and, usually when they go and win things, they go and sprinkle a little stardust on it. There ain't no bigger stardust than sprinkling Ronaldo. What does that do for Rashford, yeah. Greenwood, Bruno, like the, the whole club, the fans, Manchester. the mark, everything lifts at the club. And immediately, I think they've put themselves where I've, I, I sort of dismissed them as title contenders. Just, I thought they were just a little bit off it. Now, I think they've got every chance. It's a four-way race now. Yeah, I agree. I think what he brings to the, to the club and the level of professionalism, mentality, is far more outweighs their, their opportunity on the pitch. I think you're looking at Greenwood Sancho. They're going to see someone of yeah. what it takes to be the best they can be at all, all stages yeah. of his career. And I don't think, oh, well, we're going to get wet. I don't think they're going to be um, look at that lightly. And I think they're going to they're understand. Our oh. poor colleagues down there, by the way, have just been absolutely covered. <laughs> the international broadcasters 20 yards to our left won't want to come back to Manchester sometime soon. Um, I, just, I just want to sort of talk about what it means for City, though. I don't want to focus too yep. much on United here because they've gone for Kane. That's not happened. We know they went for Ronaldo. It's not happened. The, big, the biggest blow is he then goes to the other, the other club in the city. So what's the impact it, here? It doesn't weaken 
Man City not getting them players. Yes, it would have strengthened them, but they're, they're titled contenders regardless of whether they come or not. Um, yes, it would have had a huge impact, but in terms of, of where City are, they're still a, a stronger squad than it was last year. They've, had, uh, they've acquired Jack Grealish, who for me is obviously an exciting talent and proven at his, at his current form as well. Do, do you think, Joe, jo Joe there's still business to on. do so, go on, on, for Man City? Do you think you, 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 you'll see a player coming through the door? I, I do. They'll respond. I honestly, and I, and I didn't. When I think they lost that on Kane and, and, and Ronaldo, and then I seen Pep's interview yesterday, I heard it, sorry, and, and he said about there's, there's three players that can choose where they want to play, one of them being Messi, one of them being Ronaldo, and there was another. And for me, that can only be a Lewandowski, and we know he's spoken about wanting to leave and wanted a different challenge, so it wouldn't surprise me if he came through the door. Got a few days to get it over the line. Julian, what Julian, were you going to say? What, yeah, Julian, what, what's it done for the morale and the confidence at Man City that they've got in for like two huge players in Kane and, and, and Cristiano Ronaldo and kind of just been told to sit back down when that's happened? What, what, what does that do <laughs> know, for them? No, but that wasn't in control. That wasn't in control of that, Rio. It, it, it's kind of like the mentality that's been at Old Trafford for the last eight years, you know what I mean? So, <laughs> it's, <laughs> you know what I mean? As I said, there wasn't any control. There wasn't a deal to be done with Harry Kane and there certainly wasn't a deal to be done for, for Ronaldo as soon as Man United come for the door. Rio, you're revving Just, just to I finish, saw... I'm, I'm not going to mock up or I'm not belittle any, anymore. <laughs> but what this does, it makes it a four-way a four race, like Joe said. But I still think, yeah. if you, in all seriousness, City are still the team to beat. Um, I don't think it changes that because they've got the know-how, they've done it, they're the champions and they're the team, I think, with a target on their back. You've got to get past yeah. them uh, to try and win this league. So, it, it's we, still, we, yeah, still, yeah, still got yeah, a shot. I agree with that. It was 12 points, weren't it, really, last year? The gap between Manchester United and Man City. So, can, so the question is, can Varane and Ronaldo and Sancho close that 12 point gap so that's, that's the wrong for me that's the wrong way of looking at it because yeah. it wasn't goals it was yeah. clean sheets the difference them 12 points come in clean sheets and they haven't strengthened up the clean sheet side of things as much as they could have yes they've got Varane who's going to be exceptional world-class player but I think that was the area of they needed to strengthen more yeah. so than getting Ronaldo. what I think is exciting is I'm sure you'll agree with this real you're sitting there now looking at United thinking we can win the league now you're looking at City thinking we're the champions, we'll win it again. You're looking at Chelsea thinking we've got a great chance to win the league. That's what we want from the Premier League. Three, four, five teams who we believe have a genuine, a genuine shot, Rio, at winning the title. That's all we want. Completely. You, you want it to be interesting. You don't want it to be a one or two horse race. You want as many teams at it at the turn of the year. And I think we're going to have that this year. I don't think it's going to be where one or two teams run away with it. Um, just to go back to Jolien's point, like, obviously... Clean sheet, you guys were the kings of that last year and what you've done, your defensive record was great. But again, like, do you think you guys are going to score enough goals to get you over the line in, like, in all competitions like the Premier League and the Champions League? Because I think maybe that's what was, was missing last year. Yeah, time will tell. But um, they scored enough goals to get um, three trophies last year or two trophies last year, so I'm sure they'll be all right. Mic drop <laughs> to end the conversation. Cool. Rio, thanks very much for joining us. Uh, you can't wipe the smile off his face, can he? Um, been really interesting. Thanks a lot, mate. Thank you very much. Right, we're going to uh, continue to Cheers, dodge guys. the sprinklers here in, uh, in Manchester.